Hey guys, so for today's video, I thought it'd be a great idea to see why so many people hate me. <laughs> Basically, I'm just gonna be reading hate comments. I used to think I got like so many, but ever since I had like a few other videos do well, the amount of hate comments I receive, unreal. Let's read some of my hate comments. There's lots. So first I'm gonna be starting on like my most popular video, emo dresses normal for a week. <laughs> There is so many hate comments on this video. Like, I think 75% of the comments are hate. You have a Breathe Carolina poster on your wall. You are emo and cringy. First of all, Breathe Carolina was the shit back in the day. Um, I listened to them right when I got into this music and I loved them so much. And yeah, I have a poster on my wall. It's my first fan poster that I ever got signed. Also, I have not removed any posters on this wall since I moved into this house, so. Sorry, but wearing band shirts in all black isn't special. It's basic. <laughs> this is what bothers me. I don't know where you people live, but I would love to walk into my school and people be like, oh my God, like, you know what? You're not like weird, like you're normal. But no, I'm only cool if I'm wearing a Metallica band shirt because guess what? They wear that for fashion, so. I guess other people live in an area where a lot of people just look dark and edgy. I don't know, but that's not where I live. <laughs> Cringy. Yeah, you look like a prep 24 seven. If I looked like a prep, um, I'm pretty sure people wouldn't stare at me in the hallways. Like I'm the spot to say that. I'm about to slap a bitch. Are you saying emo people are bad and unapproachable and we need to be a certain way to fit in? That's literally the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> In my life, you don't need to dress a certain way to fit in. I think that's stupid, but you have to face the reality that looking that way, you don't look approachable and you look weird and different, which isn't a bad thing, but like, you just have to come to the reality of things. Use your brain. So she said she wouldn't want to be emo. Triggered. You already know a 12 year old wrote that. This video was boring as hell. Thanks. Oh my God, their username is emo piece of shit with the slash in every single O. <laughs> disliked, bitch. Honestly, thank you. I honestly don't think there's a difference between liking and disliking a video because either way you're giving my video relevancy, so thanks. You're not emo, but you know it, so I don't hate you. Their username has Roar in it and I'm pretty sure it's not ironic. Nothing is normal. Normal just means to be apt to look like the majority. Exactly. <laughs> And that's what I was doing, looking like the majority. <laughs> there are people using XDs in their comments. Not ironically. <laughs> I gotta go home. I did not just read this. Um, just because you wear band merch and wear darker clothes doesn't mean you're emo. Remember that cheesy ass MySpace saying that the emos use labels are for soup cans? Write that shit down. Also, first video I've ever disliked, so good for you. Oh my god, I'm so happy I could be your first. Uh, it's not cringy to be emo. It's not cringy to be anything, so please get that in your head. To like three bands and act like you're in some like clique that's so exclusive and you think you're better than everyone because you're so angsty, um, that is cringy. It's really cringy and I'm not, like I was there so I can say it's cringy. <laughs> Basic, really? You're so stereotypical because you say that you're not normal but no one is. I hate this. I'm an imposter. I'm not one of your kind. What the f That's something I said in the video. What the fuck? There is seriously no difference between you and the next guy. And legit, if you didn't want to make this video, why the fuck would you make it? Because it was bad anyways. Um, I said that as a joke. That's not like a normal thought in my head. It, it was a joke. You know, humor. <laughs> it's a thing. And uh, I made the video, one, because I wanted to test if I made a basic video that anyone could make if it would get a lot of views and it did and I thought it would be kind of a fun experiment for myself so there we go here's something I don't get when I respond to a hate comment and I'm mean and then people get mad at me because I'm mean well yeah like you were mean to me <laughs> did you want me to be nice like I this is what I hate I'm a nice person until you're mean to me then I will be mean right back because like you deserve my wrath. Now we're gonna move on to a different video. Which one also got hate comments? Yeah, a message to the click. <laughs> like, 
it's so weird because I get over the videos I film. Like, I'll film it and then I'm like, okay, I don't have to think about this topic anymore because, like, I said it, it's out to the world. And when people keep commenting, like, a month later, I'm like, fam, I'm over this. Can't you be over this? The click did not make you stop listening to the band. We did not force you to stop listening to 21 Pilots. It's your choice to listen to the band and your fault that you don't listen to the band anymore. Also, not everyone in the click is an asshole, so stop making it seem like everyone is. Okay. One, I obviously no one held a gun to my head and was like, don't listen to 21 Pilots anymore. But every time I think of the band, I think of the annoying ass people. So it just has a negative thing. And also all these people like responding like this are the same people that I hate. And a lot of people are like, oh my God, not everyone is an asshole in the click. Like no shit. Like, I don't know how many people are in the click, but a lot. Obviously not every single person is gonna be rude, but. People like give that, people like give the whole click that image and that's what I was trying to portray. We should watch, read my F.U. Austin Jones because there was some that are yikes in the yard. Go screw, this is coming from a girl. <laughs> Go screw yourself little Miss Perfect. He made a mistake and everything will be cleared up. First of all, a mistake is one time and you can't necessarily accidentally like ask someone for twerking videos and that's a mistake he did it probably hundreds of times um that's not a mistake i never said it was a little miss perfect but i also don't prey on people younger than me and i don't manipulate the people who watch my videos so Maybe I am Little Miss Perfect. That was the worst zoom in I've ever had in my life. <laughs> she got raped by him, lol. Um, sure. Yeah, that's a great comment and a great thing to assume. Austin looks pretty tough. He'll be the boss of the prison gangs and have all the other inmates twerking for him within three months. That's nice. Don't spend your time hating someone and immediately labeling them as a horrible person. It'll just make things work worse understand he needs help and help him to do the right thing and straighten himself to get the rid of this addiction so he can live without anyone and live without hurting anybody in peace first of all is austin jones gonna watch my video no probably not also he can't even use the internet so i don't know how he would watch my video so this wasn't directed at him it was directed to young fans who can get manipulated by older people and I'm trying to help them, so thanks. Austin is only 17 years old. What is wrong with you people bashing him for talking to girls around his age? I swear the human race is dissolving. I've lost all hope teenagers can't even talk to teenagers these days. Shake my head. Um, he's 24. <laughs> fuck you, bitch as fuck. It's you, you will get a out away with it. I think some people who comment on my videos are genuinely retarded. <laughs> you are not a victim, so this is just clickbait. I'm a legit victim of this kind of crime and I hate when people try to act like they know anything about us or the people responsible for crimes like this. You got no clue and you're just looking for clicks off of someone else's tragedy. You don't really give a damn because if you did, you would have done victim stories and many other non-clickbait awareness videos a long time ago. Get the fuck out. Um, first of all, I made a video trying to inform people on the situation and how shitty of a person he is and I know a victim of that, so... And I'm not saying I understand what you went through because I've never gone through that, so... <laughs> I don't understand where this logic comes in. It's whores like you that get Austin in trouble. It's the girl's fault. Yeah, it's people like you who need to go to prison. So I think I've been recording for a really long time, so I'm just gonna stop. But I think the conclusion on why people hate me is because I put emo in the title of my videos as clickbait because um, people will click on the video. Because as a YouTuber, you should have a drive to, uh, you know, like improve your channel gain more people watching your videos, etc. That's how you be a YouTuber. Um, also, I hate labels in general. I think labels are stupid, so I don't take any labels 
seriously i meant to like make funny remarks back to these hate comments but i just got so triggered and i couldn't do that so that's great but i hope you enjoyed watching this i hope it was entertaining to see why so many people hate me um but yes i love you guys so much thank you for all your support i hope you have a wonderful day and remember to smile and i'll see you guys next time bye guys